Hey guys, Songo here with another video of Quick Match, this time featuring Lunara because on the day that I'm recording this, she has been buffed very, very slightly. This is a great thing, it means that they are at least acknowledging that a 30% win rate is like a not desirable. Uh, but all they did was increase her poison damage very slightly, and increase her health somewhat significantly compared to what it was, but still, it's rather slightly. Uh, so, yeah, and she's gonna- oh, okay, I thought she was gonna flank around for some reason. Well, if I get caught by her, that'll be unfortunate. So, okay, cool, she's dismounted. Let's just zone her off. Huh, <laughs> she used her passive. Ah, uh, so, yeah. They didn't really fix any of her problems. Like, uh, you know, the, the Wisp which has a 50 second cooldown and provides a rather minimal amount of damage. Er, vision rather. It provides zero damage most of the time, at least directly. No, nah, where is she? She should be sitting here. Ah. Why? She's a tank. She could easily have gone up there and, like, done stuff, like, a long time ago, but I cannot keep this here. At least not without... Okay. And Lunar is here. And so is their entire team. Well, uh, two of them. I should have just given that to her. There was absolutely no way I could have uh, pushed her off. I did not see them come up from middle, though. So, her problems were... Ah, Lunara's problems, to go a bit more in depth, was not her damage. It wasn't really even her health. Sure, she died to a wet fart, but that's fine. So long as it's actually meaningful for, there's a meaningful way to, like, not die. I will renew these lands. A thorn in like, the range, or, yeah, range. That would have been pretty useful in, uh, and... And like, uh, making it so that she wasn't killed instantly. He's looking to hook, and I didn't move fast enough. Just gonna. And also her W kind of being a bit derp. I'll go middle, since they decide to go middle. They being the enemy team. And now I'm going bot, because they are deciding to go bot. They've got the Dragon Knight after all. I'll send this wisp out. Just... <sighs> Fucking Cigar. She does everything that Lunara does, but better. And that's rather annoying. Oh well. Uh, so yeah. Gonna just slow her. And this should kill her. Ah, damn it. And now she's got the well and she lives just fine. Again, one of her problems, but... Again, one that I really did not mind her having. 
so long as the damage was meaningful, and they did kind of, like, take steps to make it that way. Where's the excitement? But, yeah. Uh, it wasn't really the primary issue that they had, that Hunara had. Or any of her primary issues. Her clunky movement, her really low power, um, and really low small radius, uh, how to say, Q. And I'm taking a splintered spear. For the so that I can actually spread my toxins oh, decently. Gonna slow stitches. Uh, and I think I already talked about it, but the Wisp. 50 second cooldown. Virtually no vision. And, yeah. And now I'm dead. I've been too busy talking. Anyway. And her W also, like, not really doing much. Her ults, though, are pretty decent. So, let's move in middle. Uh, yeah. Basically. And just slowing down with the Dragon Knight. Oh, okay, I expected him to continue fishing, kind of. Uh, they've got... Malfurion has it here. I'll... Uh, defend Nova, kind of. And now I'm just walking away. Because they have bolts and we still do not. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going up here then. Abathur really should be, like, bottom or something. So that we're, like, soaking and trying to get, uh, ultimates, but this is fine. Oh, look, he's down. Okay, I'm taking Leaping Strike because it does a lot of damage and, uh, it can get me out of, uh, like, the Stitched Six, which I seem to be catching as though I were playing baseball. I'm going down bottom. And sending out my wisp. Oh, also, her level four talents uh, are like terrible and stuff. The fights back. Uh, yeah. Okay. And yeah. Oh, well. Uh, thank you for the heal. I can't, we don't really have anyone to go in on their medic, which is actually rather frustrating. So, I'm just gonna be trying to kite this. Yay, good job team. Ah uh, yeah, that's a bad idea. I'll just come down here. Uh, I'll send out a wisp. Because why not? And just slung that minion because it applies an extra stack of my damage over time. So that's good. In theory. But really it's not. Uh, because it's a minion. And so... But I really didn't... I had essentially infinite mana at this point. 
Why do I keep walking into that? Jesus Christ. Oh, jump away. Using that mutilisk. Good thing it's got a... 8 second duration so I can like... Uh, like, you know. Use it and stuff. And just gonna hop on with their medic. And hop on with their Lunara. Come on, what the fuck? Why was it... Okay. Well, uh, the ultimate was just not... Why don't you just run that way? Pathfinding? Anyway, uh, that went terribly. I probably could have survived if my ultimate actually went off, but... Could've, would've, should've, doesn't make a lick of difference. All. And we probably lose, in all honesty. Uh, fuck it. We've got a couple slows on this team. And doing a little bit more damage might be useful. But they've kind of got a medic who's like single-handedly the best sustained healer in the game. So, like, yeah. And just gonna slow her. Or, not slow, but damage over time here. And I'm gonna be trying to poke in here every so often. And... Well, good job, Johanna. You picked a really good ult. I wonder what ha what's going on with that uh, mutilus. But I guess in the end it doesn't really matter. Mm. Okay, just hopping and then slowing, which should give our team plenty of chance to catch up. Oh, look. A medic. Blowing her. Because reasons. And then continuing to slow her damage. Or at least trying to. Not really working because it's the medic. And, like, yeah. We don't really have a team that supports the excitement? even Lunar's playstyle of poking and hiding. Or at least that is supposed to be her playstyle, I assume. So, yeah. We've really got nothing we can do here. Yeah. But it's good that Blizzard actually, like, recognized that Lunar has a problem and decided to buff her, admittedly extremely cautiously, and, like, nowhere near what she needed, because numbers weren't really what she needed. But I'm taking invigorating spores to increase her attack speed, which should help me to get stacks and, like, stuff. Uh, that sucks. Medic. Uh, yeah. We are kind of split here. Um, I don't think we can honestly win as a team fight considering Someone didn't go ultimate evolution, so we're literally always 4v5. Best I can do is, uh, open prey. What? Why do you got- what? What? You- you- what? You guys were right there! Why do you... Why do you stop? Why do you run away? 
Okay. Leaping over there. And yeah, not really much I could do. Uh, yeah. Actually, jack shit I could do. Because they actually had their team there. And now we just lose. Anyway, uh, have fun. See you when Lunar actually gets her problems fixed. I mean, it's great that they are actually acknowledging that a 30% win rate is not what they are looking for. That's actually really good. But it's not enough to actually make her worth using. Not to mention what I said already, like, multiple times. And just kind of kite away. Uh, and now I'm dead. Because the medic completely counters her. Lunar, because damage over time, which is fairly weak, in fact incredibly weak, in the heal meta, versus massive heals over time is not a matchup that Lunar is going to win. But it really doesn't matter. I shouldn't have been chasing a tank anyway, but, yeah. If I was any other character, I think I could have killed her. Ah, so yeah. Just gonna slow Johanna, hopefully making it so that she can't get in, and she ulted anyway, so it didn't matter that I slow her. Yet another reason why uh, Lunar is not great. She doesn't really have any useful crowd control. Meanwhile, Rainer has, even now, a one second, could be talented into two second, stun. So, yeah. And it actually, he like, lets him do stuff. I've not been using my Wisp, but as I said, it's kind of pointless. I'm not with my team though, which is we are diving under under gates. What's going on? Um, okay. Well, uh, I'll choose Abolish Magic so that... Uh, when I get stunned Soon by something, I think both of them actually went for no stuns. And I don't think Unstoppable actually lets you, like, ignore the maw, so actually no reason to pick up Abolish Magic. Yeah, whatever. The dragon all. shall rest no longer. Unleash its power. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Link established. You improved. Come on, come on. If I was Kel'thas, I'd be able to who just flame strike that entire wave from there, but whatever. Uh, it's Zagara. I can probably take her alone. But she's probably not gonna be alone. And, yay. Faded out the thing and what's it. And so, just gonna do that. And then this. 
and she's yeah. The guard just. Hmm. I haven't played with Lunara that much on post patch. I thought she would have a little bit more survivability and such, but that's clearly not the case. I forgot just how insignificant the buffs really were. And I also thought I wasn't playing Lunara for some reason. So, uh, yeah. If you want to play Lunar, as I said in my last Lunar video, just play Zagar. She's... she does everything Lunar does, but better. Uh, so I'm just going balls deep because otherwise it's not gonna do anything. And with it, it doesn't do anything. Ah, uh, well, at least she was buffed very slightly. Two damage per second. Yay. Bye.